Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change out those two broken lug studs. This is on the rear. 2003 Chrysler Town & Country. Every single wheel on this thing has a broken lug stud. But I'm just going to show you how to do it on one. And the process is the same for all the rest of the wheels. So. Put this thing on the tripod and get on it. Alright, so I got the wheel off, and because these two are broke, the wheel was wobbling around a little bit, this one got a little stripped and didn't want to come off. These two were holding straight, so technically these were the only two holding that wheel on, and they're kind of, they're not bad, they look like they've been replaced at some point, but I'm going to replace all three of those. So I got my 7mm Allen, get it put back here. Loosen the caliper, take it off, which I already had it loosened. I'll show you how to get those out. And I gotta do some on all four of these wheels, hubs. But I'm only gonna show you how to do this one. Because the process is the same all around. So get that pin out of there. Do the other side. Oh, it's hard to get in there. Take the caliper off and the brake pads. You don't have to take the caliper bracket off because it's one of those that's on the outer edge. Kind of makes it nice to be honest. You see a lot of Fords that way. A few Dodges and others. They're working on the road over there, so that's what you're hearing. So if you can't hear me, that's why. Okay. Slightly pull that up. It wants to go, but let me go grab my screwdriver. Sorry to keep you all waiting like that, but. to get this loosened. Like that. You want to loosen it all around first and then pull it out going forward. Just park backwards. So. Just pull up. You can leave the pads in there because they do kind of clip onto the caliper. Put it off to the back. Watch the line. And then you got your emergency brake on the inside there, so you gotta watch out for that. Oh, those are nice. Yeah, those are new. So somebody loved this thing at one point. Rotor looks good. Brake pads look pretty much new. Got about maybe a quarter of an inch left on them, so somebody did it at some point. But what they didn't do was change these two, which they should have done. So. There's an inlet. I think I do believe on this one it's at the bottom or the side where it gives you enough room to get those studs out. And it would be on either side here. There's the room there. You don't want to pound it back into the emergency brake adjuster there, so you want to do it off to the side. So I'm gonna spray these down with some PB Rush Blaster or Maybe even some WD-40 WD because it's not actually that bad. And I'll show you how to get them out. We got it about right there. Sprayed it, let it sit for a little bit.
there it is. Now, some of these bearings, you don't really want to, I mean, you don't really want to pound on them too hard. There's other ways of getting them out. You could remove the whole thing and put it in the press, but, you know, we live in Arizona. It's relatively dry. This uh, surface rust you're seeing on there really isn't um, too bad. It's just from it heating down, cooling down, heating up, cooling down. So there's one, and uh, I'm going to do the other. There, it seems pretty good. So I'm going to pound out the others too, and I'm going to put them back in, and we'll jump back on here, and I'll show you how I put them in. All right, so I had to do what I didn't want to do, want to have to do, but I noticed on these ones here, these are a little thinner than these. So these aftermarket ones are thicker and it was just not enough room for me to fish it through there. Barely enough. So there's four bolts on the hub. One here, one here, one here, and one here. So I loosened them up from the back. It's an 18 millimeter, just enough to get myself enough play in there to put it in without fighting with it. But if you have the Chrysler Dodge ones, they're a lot thinner, they'll go in with no problem. So these aftermarket ones I picked up at O'Reilly's, just not, not the best. So now I got enough room to fit it back through there. Still you gotta lose your needle nose. Thought we can get away with doing it pretty easy. Watch the threads. Well was able to get it on. So, now I'll put the other two in. What you kind of want to do though is you kind of want to get it to where it's not going to move around. So what I do is I just take one of the new lug nuts, put it on to hold it in place so it doesn't move around and come out on you because it will. Kind of, it might be a little in your way, but I mean you can deal with it. So what I had to do is I just got a pair of the hose pliers, which works pretty good for holding bolts, which I've used these quite a bit. Work it in there like this, hold it, careful of the threads, get it in there, hold it and push it back, wiggle. All that good stuff. Hold it back. Rotate it to where you have the hole. Feed it through. So you got it fed through. Take the pliers and hold the back. Wiggle this thing enough. There. And then get another lug nut. This is an old one, but it still fits. It's all the same size. Hold that in place. Okay, so we got two. Now we'll do the last one. So these are just some, I don't know what brand these are. <laughs> I pick up tools everywhere. But these are a small hose clamp pliers that actually I don't, I bought for actually doing this. Holding bolt, bolts in weird places. Um, pulling off small hoses, they come in handy. So make sure you get yourself some. The long reach is the awesome. I know you guys, a lot of you know that already. But again, fish this in there, hold it, move it around. Get you in there, just like that. Rotate to the hole, get it in just like that. Hold it, regrip, pull it through. Hold it towards the very back. You can see that. And then wiggle the hub. Pull it through. This might seem like a lot of work, but it's really not. There's only, like I said, there's only four bolts holding this hub on. And don't take them completely off. Your brake backing will stay in the same spot. You don't have to disconnect the ABS. You don't have to disconnect the emergency brake or the caliper. You just set the caliper on the leaf spring. Again, this is a 2003 Chrysler Town & Country, which is the Dodge Caravan's the same, and uh, several of the other Dodge vehicles, Chrysler vehicles are the same. 
So I'm gonna go grab another lug nut, hold it on there, and then I'm gonna tighten the back of this and then draw these on and put it all back together. I'll show you how I'm gonna draw it on just to get them in place. Um, but primarily, like I said, with my with my big uh, Ingersoll ran impact wrench, half inch impact wrench, that sucker's gonna draw it right in place when I go to put the tire on, man. That thing is strong at 600 foot pounds. Of course, I always back them off and then torque them too, so everyone does things differently. <laughs> More than one way to skin a cat. The overall objective is to get the job done. Doing it the right way is pretty much up for debate, but the right way is don't break anything else, get it back together, get it functional, and you learn a lot of tips and tricks along the way. So now that I got those in, we want to tighten up the back of the brake, or the hub, sorry. <laughs> we'll get all these in good in, get it just right, and then, like I said, we live in Arizona, and just a little bit of uh, WD is all you really need, um, unless you live up in northern Arizona where they salt the roads every winter and that, you really don't have to worry about a whole lot, it's not like it rains a whole lot here, and when it does, everyone's too scared to go outside, they just stay inside, so... Once you get all this together, you'll see it's really not that hard to do. So now I'm going to torque these bolts down and uh, take a break for a second and I'll come back and I'll show you how to draw those on. All right, well, I'd let the camera charge up a little bit there, but I got this one ready to draw it on. See the nut, two washers. Like I said, that nut is washer, or the the nut is larger than the lug stud, and it's a conical uh, 21 millimeter that I'm using, the same size fits, but lug nut, but it's conical, so it draws up center and it makes the this large nut here center out over to where it doesn't touch. So I, that's the same one I've been using. I've been using this one for like 10 years. So anyway, I got the big gun out. Let's see if that's drawn on. And it is all the way flush. So now I'm going to back it off. Pull it all off. Check it. This is the new one. The other one I was using was an old one that I have. It was all the way on. So now I'm going to go over to the next one. I already did one while the camera was charging. And then I did this one just now that you saw. And now I'm going to do this one. So it's on pretty decent. I'll show you what I do. I got two washers, same washers I've been using. Seriously, I'm not kidding, for about 10 years. And what that does is it allows them to slide over one another, slide around one another. This is a really, it's an all complete solid lug nut. It's the same size, but it's not the ones in the back. This is one of the actual ones. And then got some new ones for the new lug studs. So. Put it on there like that. See, I put this on. That conical lug nut centers that out and doesn't touch anything. So here we go. And it is.
completely flush. So I'll take it off, pull those off, and there we go. I did have to loosen this up again in order to get uh, one of these didn't fit when I had the camera charging. This one didn't fit. So I had to loosen it up and take it off and uh, see what the deal was. And really all I needed to do was ream that hole out. It had some rust on the back side that wasn't allowing it to draw on. And I didn't want to break it. So what I did is I took a uh, um, drill bit, ran it through there a little bit. And then I took the uh, Dremel with the little sanding application on it, the drum sanding application on it and cleaned it out and it pulled it right on. So everything was good. So all those are good to go. Now I'm going to tighten everything back up, these the bolts on the back, and uh, torque them down, put the uh, rotor back on, put this wheel back together, and that's it. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. No negativity though, man. <laughs> Honestly, there's no time in this world for the negativity. So if you don't like it, just move on, man. Simple as that. Alright, check it later.